We are two crazies from South Africa, that's Frick and Pietru. We decided to chuck it all and we are now living and sailing full time on our new home, Sisu. We just left Bar Harbor. Bar Harbor is over there. And wow, we, the waves is just not <laughs> very good. Coming from the wrong side still. The wind has not yet picked up according to Windy. And the HRR models, it should come from that side. But I can see the clouds moving, but maybe that mountain there is in the way. And the sails just doesn't want to stay open. The wind is not, it's by around six knots. <laughs> but we try, we really try. But it seems like there's two sets of waves, one coming from the front and one coming from the back. We're on our way to Cranberry Islands. They're somewhere in that direction. And Pietro is trying to avoid all the pots. And that's a problem here. We cannot go any, the moment we go on a port tack, and when the sails is on that side, we cannot see a thing in front of us. So we cannot avoid the lobster pots. So we can only sail here on starboard tack. And that's why we thought we will come now, because the wind is blowing like this. But it's not much wind. Just lots of swells coming from that side. We just anchored here at Cranberry Island, or the small one. I think that is the Grand Cranberry Island, and this is the small one. The wind is really, really blowing, and the anchor is only in small, like little pebbles or rocks, rounded, rounded rocks. And it, we had already 32 knots of wind here. But man, first of all, it's beautiful here. The second thing, it was the most lobster pots I have encountered. You will not see them, but so many there. We had to come around that corner. And even when we anchored, we were in the process of setting the anchor and normally I back down on both of the engines at 1500 and the first 20 meters we dragged until the anchor find like I think smaller pebbles so not just bouncing over big pebbles and we, and it sank in so we got clo too close to this one so I hope not the wind is going to swing that we will swing that lobster pot over our anchor or the anchor chain over the lobster pot ah, whichever comes first but it is a pretty pretty picture so we will when the wind dies down and we're sure we will not drag into some other poor guy or into that lobster pot over there or that one, or you know, like many others, we'll go over to that restaurant over there. So we're heading to that grey building over there. Oh. <laughs> but look at the sea is choppy. Looks like a real lobster catching community. You can't say fishing community. I think it's more like a lobster. I think it's there around the corner. 
can't see dinghy sticking out there, thank goodness. So now I'm wondering if they bring all the lobsters into this building here. Looks like a lot of crates and stuff inside there. How cool is this? And it's such a change from, from down, down south where it was pylons. Here we have floating docks. It just works. It just works for us. A nice steady rim. So it must be high tide. Welcome. So we just came now from the restaurant, pretty awesome restaurant. Oh, this is a ferry, this is a ferry coming in. And Sisu's over there somewhere, just in front of this white boat. We have a big flashlight, look, so we can flash. Okay, so that probably does not look right because <laughs> the people in Maine, from Maine, normally has whole lobsters. They just take the live lobster and they put it in a pot of boiling hot water and that's how they cook it. Where we come from, we have spiny lobsters or rock the, lobsters. The, the lobsters of the antennas, those things. not the claw. So what we do with those is we, we cut them open and we open them up and we take all the yucky stuff out and then they land up looking like this, the tails. So we're going to try it now with a main lobster. So we're keeping the claws intact. They are pretty nice to eat. So we're just going to put them on the barbecue on the braai like this and we flank the, the tails like we would do with our lobsters. And the brine master is going to make them. So we are going to shear. Huh? Sear. Sear. The flesh down first. So that's going to go for about two minutes, I would say. I think the claws are going to take longer. So this is Bartlett Island and we're going to try lobster the South African way. Pedro has some juicy sauces ready. Garlic and butter and spices. Once it was orange, turned black, and once it was black, turned orange. Look at that. Very, very good. And of course, we have some millies. And there's some stuff for Pietro. Salad. So we are left Cranberry Island. And we are now on our way to Barlet. Bartlet Island which is the island that belongs to Rockefeller. Imagine that. With all the beautiful trees and green greenery and beautiful houses, big mansions of course. 
and it is a very beautiful cruising ground except for these guys the lobster pot guys of course we all want lobsters but man wasn't it not for the lobster pots we could have sailed all the way as you can see right in front of us look at all those lobster pots and we need to try and get through them it is just it's just crazy because the sail is in front of us so the home station is there Pietro is doing her best to look past me past the sail so I'm blocking her only way to see the lobster pots in front of her <laughs> this is what we have to do the whole time if the sail is on this side so that is the marker and there's a line between the actual color of the buoy that's his, that marks the company name or the boat that's servicing this pot and that is actually where the pot is so that line is going straight down and then if the high tide is coming up that green one will go down and then that one will be the marker that's no relationship between these three oh so that one there the black and yellow that is his marker it is so crazy it's so difficult to figure out like this one they all individuals they're not connected to each other so you can go straight through them and it will be not a problem so Pietro is negotiating these two now so that one is on its own that one has a line going oh up current oopsie he might drag that one okay we missed that one <laughs> so this is Bartlett Island in Maine USA the owner and home of the Rockefellers I'm sure that's not the house but I'm sure there is one monstrosity somewhere between those trees So make sure that you don't miss out, just be there We're taking our shot, bring what you got We're going all the way to the top We will hear the sound of one million people Screaming our names when we're backstage We'll play loud, surfing the crowd Everybody's jumping around Yeah, that's the place where I wanna be Going on stage, headline on a Saturday We just dropped anchor here at French Borough, uh, Long Island and <laughs> it's difficult to find the anchor spot between all the lobster pots there's quite a lot of them you can see there's a lobster boat busy putting more in the water it's crazy and we we don't know whether we can take some of these moorings because they all belong to someone or we're not sure they can handle Sisu we just wait for a while and see that the anchor is set because the tide is rising now and I just want to make sure that we stay in one spot even at the high tide then we'll go into town French Borough this is basically the town <laughs> all five houses and it is damn cold it is very very cold Guys are saying it's summer. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. It is. It's not summer for us. Uh, we're going to have a braai later on, and Pietro is busy making some delicious food in the oven. <laughs> I'm, I'm warming up the cabin with the oven because it's. It's much warmer in here. I've got my winter slippers on. I've got my sweatpants on. Jacket. It's <laughs> freezing cold. <laughs> and she's busy with the next video. So 
Okay. So that you guys can watch. <laughs> so videos. I'm drinking wine, but I'm missing old brown sherry from South Africa. OBS! For all of our South, our South African subscribers, I'm missing my OBS. Oh, the lobster boats. Up dockside in Delhi. Tiny little place. Oh, look at that. Oh, get your ducks in a row. <laughs> and mommy with the three babies. Okay, so Dockside Delhi is closed. Uh, we've just discovered we're in French Borough. <laughs> we just discovered. You <laughs> well, just discovered. I just discovered. <laughs> I just discovered. I'm very ignorant. So. I don't think there's any any living souls in, in this building. It's a field up. I still don't see any living souls. Blue lobster. We're still battling to distinguish between lobster and crayfish. Now they come with a blue lobster as well. It's a very rare lobster, a blue lobster. And here's the church, but spot the difference on this church. I'm not going to say anything now, so you're going to have to leave a comment below. What do you see different on this church? All the wooden houses. But a real fishing community. Or a lobster community, I don't know what you call them. What do you call a lobster fisherman? And they have these massive gas bottles. Uh, but I'm sure that thing obviously doubles up for heating as well. Or maybe it lasts a whole year. So this is now working from home. Backstage, we're playing loud, surfing the crowd. Everybody's jumping around. 